Hi, my name's Vivian. And my name's Gabby, and today we're going to be talking about raccoons. The raccoon, also known as the masked bandit, is considered a curious and feisty mammal commonly found in the Rondeau campgrounds. These critters are nocturnal and have been known to loot people's cottages, campsites, gardens, and garbages at night. The raccoon can be found in the southern parts of Canada and throughout most of Ontario and are also found throughout most of the United States and Mexico. Raccoons make dens in wooded areas, especially along streams or near lakes, where large hollow trees are present. They more and more are becoming a part of the urban wildlife scene and live where human habitation is high. Raccoons are increasingly using human-made materials and sites, such as underneath abandoned buildings or under discarded construction materials in rougher terrain. The raccoon can be best identified by its long fur of blackish-gray color, its black bandit mask over its eyes, its ringed tail, and its lumbering walk. Raccoons may reach lengths of 65 to 96 centimeters and weigh up to 12 to 36 pounds. Like bears and humans, raccoons walk on their heels and therefore have a larger looking track than in comparison to their actual body size. Raccoons can also produce a wide range of vocalizations, including purring, growling, snarling, screaming, hissing, trilling, and whimpering. These cute animals are most often docile unless cornered and threatened. They have been known to wound and even kill attacking dogs. Raccoons are considered omnivores, meaning they eat meat and plants, and conveniently are not very picky eaters either. Raccoons eat a large variety of foods, including nuts, berries, fruits, grains, insects, crayfish, frogs, young birds, rodents, and bird eggs. In autumn, the raccoon will consume larger amounts of food to build fat reserves to help sustain it over the winter. You may also find a raccoon dunking their food in water before eating it, which is one habit they are well known for. People used to believe that raccoons were washing their food before eating it, but it is now believed that water enhances the raccoon's ability to feel an object and discriminate against hard, inedible parts of its food. Raccoons are primarily nocturnal, but it can occasionally be seen during the day. In the winter, they go into a state of partial hibernation called torpor in groups or individually. They mate in late January or early February and have three to seven young born in early May. At first, the mother carries her young by the nape of the neck, just like a cat carries its kittens. The young go out to forage food with their moms after about two months. Sometimes the young disperse in autumn, while some remain until the mother forces them out to make room for her next litter. Overall, the raccoon is a rather social animal with its family as it forages and dens together throughout its life. Thanks for joining us today. And remember, to get passionate, get involved, and enjoy nature's little bandits.